My Friend Pedro Blood Bullets Bananas is an action platformer from the one-person development studio Dead Toast Entertainment. Pedro, a sentient banana, guides your unnamed character through underground gang dens to stylishly shoot everyone in sight using copious amounts of bullet time and acrobatics. The absurd premise starts out intriguing but never moves beyond its initial charm. Later revelations feel like forced attempts at drama and mostly fall flat. There aren't many characters in the story and those present aren't well fleshed out. Pedro is the exception, though his witty banter is mostly used as tutorial, and aside from being a magical talking banana, he isn't all that interesting either. In contrast to the shallow story, the gameplay is fairly deep. Your character can wall jump, roll, spin to dodge bullets, and fire in two directions at once. A generous focus meter allows you to slow time and pick off targets more efficiently. Elements in the environment can be interacted with to give you new attack and mobility options. However, movement feels oddly sluggish, especially when jumping, yet the twin stick style gunplay is great. I found the normal difficulty to be a bit easy. Most encounters could be cleared with brute force, whereas hard required much more use of the focus system, and playing that way made the combat feel a lot more rewarding. The arsenal of weapons tend to only be available in levels that require their use, limiting what you can do at any given time. Each stage houses a number of themed levels, and aside from some sword-wielding nerds, most enemies behave the same with only changes to their weapons and look. Sections of the levels would mix in simple platform and switch puzzles. These weren't very challenging and didn't disrupt the flow of the game, but were best when enemies appeared to trip you up. I also enjoyed the techno-focused soundtrack, which did a lot more to sell the dystopian future setting than any of the stages did. Warehouses, sewers, and construction sites are where most of the game takes place, along with a poorly explained one-off fantasy area, but none are visually impressive or interesting. And the same could be said for the character models, which wouldn't be out of place in the PS2 era. My Friend Pedro is a very short game. I was able to finish it in just under three hours, but it's clearly meant to be replayed at higher difficulties to achieve better scores. I had much more fun on subsequent attempts after I better understood the mechanics, and I suspect perfecting runs and climbing leaderboards will be a draw for people obsessed with the gameplay. I'd be interested in an update or sequel that expands on the core of what this game is, and allows for more experimentation and variety. For me, $20 seems a bit steep for such a focused package, but there's clearly potential and I'd love to see more. The game launches June 20th on Switch and PC.